I was a late bloomer. I only started pitching my junior year in high school because uh, one of our other pitchers got hurt, and the coach knew I was left-handed, first of all, and I was a pretty good athlete. So he said, do you want to try pitching? So I said, sure. You know, and I just had a fastball, and I had this slow curveball that I could show in high school and get away with. All of a sudden, my career on the mound took off. Once he started to get recognized for his pitching talent, Viola's first choice for college was CW Post, a nearby Division II school. But all that changed after one tournament game his senior year of high school. I'm walking off the field with my dad and my mom, and we're walking to the car, and Coach Russo came up to me, introduced himself, and said, I'm Joe Russo, head baseball coach at St. John's University. You picked the heck of a game today. Would you be interested in going to St. John's? And just uh, spur the moment watching me pitch one time, I got a, a scholarship offer to St. John's University. And I ended up going there, and that's when Johnny Franco came at the same time, and Johnny and I played three years at St. John's. The rivalry is in the and the comedy that you had between Brooklyn and Long Island, people would never stamp. They couldn't stamp them how ugly it got, how hilarious it got. We knew that the coach's pets were all the kids from Long Island, and the guys that he used to yell at and scream at were all the guys from the Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island. But we just had a lot of fun, and when you have fun and you win, it makes things easy for everybody. During his junior year at St. John's, Viola squared off against Yale University and right-hander Ron Darling. The two future Major League All-Stars battled for 11 innings of scoreless baseball. But in the top of the 12th, St. John's scored the lone run of the game on a double steal, finishing off what many consider the greatest pitched college game ever. To this day, of all the levels I played in baseball, it was still the best pitch game I have ever seen by anybody. And it wasn't me, it was Ronnie. He was so dominating from the first pitch to the last pitch. And we were a strong hitting team. And our hitters came back going, we can't hit him. We can't. I never heard my hitter, our hitters talk like that. I mean, it was nothing, nothing every inning, but every inning I walked off the field, it felt like we were losing. I find it funny that maybe the best game I ever pitched, um, I lost, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't know what that says about me. It was one of those magical days. Uh, we'd had numerous articles uh, talking about us, but we didn't even know each other. And uh, once we got to know each other, we were friends for life. He's, uh, he's a better person than he was a pitcher, and he was a heck of a pitcher. Ronnie and I are forever linked to that, and our friendship started from there and has continued on from there, and it can never be taken away from us.